So you got to begin to be a little bit suspicious of, of Tammuz 1, which is 16 days away. But we're, we're a long, long, we're just, as I say, scores of points away. It's the big year. It's the big year. And, and until we understood the Day of Atonement, we had no chance to correctly understand the date we're looking for. I hope you have goosebumps on your goosebumps right now. We got a lot more specificity coming our way than we're after the latter rain. Are we looking for Tammuz 1 16 days away is the question. That's the question. We got to just pause and, and ask ourselves, are we? The next month is the month of the Father. Oh, that's off. That'd be August 4th. <clears throat> I don't know how many points. I got about 60 points here, and we've covered six. So we're about a tenth done. <clears throat> you could almost argue, let's just let's just wait 16 days and let's just close the Bible and go have dinner. And it ends on a Sabbath, which would set up Sunday. And sure enough, Tammuz 1 was Sunday. It had me very suspicious for over a month. So Pentecost, ironically being a Sunday three weeks earlier, was also a shadow in the sense of being a Sunday. Pentecost was observed twice at dawn. I'm going to prove to you on Sabbath with a vast array of verses that this whole seven years comes at dawn. It's a dawn to a dawn. So it was a shadow in that way and many other ways. And then about a month ago, in the middle of May, I said, I'm going to take a look at Tammuz, and I found a Sunday, and that's when I waved my long Tammuz list with proofs that have now doubled in number. And I was suspicious of Tammuz, along came Pentecost. This perfectly fits a Sunday Tammuz 1. 